While there is little chic about Brett Bielema, his football team is certainly the chic pick in the SEC offseason heading into 2015. Mark Rogers TV continuing our series looking at every Power 5 schedule across college football. We have landed in the SEC. We have ranked the schedules 14 all the way up to number 2. Arkansas with the second best or second most difficult. May not be the best if the Hogs have to try to endure the SEC West plus a couple toughies in the Eastern Division. Second most difficult schedule in the SEC belongs to the Hogs. The darlings of the SEC, despite winning only two games in the conference last season, it's the fashion in which they are now winning. I guess we can say winning. It's three games, really. Uh, coming off two and six, uh, the upsets of LSU and Ole Miss back-to-back shutouts, and then they destroy Texas completely, outclassed the Horns in the Texas Bowl. So coming off seven and six, two and six, and really the three big wins down the stretch, Arkansas is kind of an upset dark horse pick for a lot of prognosticators in the SEC West, and they will have to do it against a very difficult schedule. So you know how I love when teams go outside the power outside of their conference and schedule top-notch competition. Has Arkansas done that? Not really. No, they have not. But because of the strength of the West, they have a difficult schedule. So it's UTEP, Toledo, Texas Tech in September. And then later in the year, a date against Tennessee Martin in Fayetteville. So that's garbage. It's a garbage schedule. And if Arkansas wants to continue on this path of respectability inside the SEC and possibly contend for a championship and a college football playoff spot, then they're going to have to step out of the league and play somebody like they used to back in the good old days. But right now it's Texas Tech who has really fallen on hard times in the Big 12. Arkansas dominated Texas Tech last year on the road pounded them on the ground in the second half, and they get the return trip from Cliff Kingsbury's crew on September 19th. So Arkansas, despite that horrendous non-conference slate, wow, it's tough in the SEC Western Division. Of course, they've got to play everybody, and if you consider that they were 2-6, and six, last place in the SEC West, and they've got to play everybody else in the West, if status quo holds then Arkansas would be playing everybody who's better in the SEC West. They're looking up at everyone as we start 2015, so they've got to play Alabama, Auburn, LSU. I don't see this team breaking into the top three in the division. They possibly could compete with Texas A&M, Ole Miss, and Mississippi State. I think the Aggies are the one dark horse to compete with the big boys in the West. So who does Arkansas have to play in the East? Mizzou? That's the last game of the season, November 27th at home. They also have a date at Tennessee, October 3rd, against the Vols, who, according to SEC media, is the second-place pick in the SEC Eastern Division, coming off 7-6. and six. And, of course, the Vols, with those back-to-back top-five recruiting classes, look to make a big leap, possibly, this season. So Tennessee, marginal last season, but strong down the stretch with Josh Dobbs at quarterback And Mizzou, the surprising back-to-back SEC Eastern Division champions, are the two cross-division, cross-conference games for Arkansas in 2015. So despite horrendous non-conference scheduling again this season for Arkansas, this is the second most difficult schedule in the SEC. It's the Hogs at number two in the SEC. We'd love to hear what you have to say right here on Mark Rogers TV.